everyone, Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. Thanks for joining me for this video. And as you can see, this video is going to be about the stuff I have up here on the bar right now. I just got back from the epic, most excellent motorcycle camping trip this past weekend with Scotty and DJ. And uh, as you know, it was Scotty's last ride for a while because he's moving to Florida. So we had to get one more in. And of course, we're doing it on our bike. So this is all the stuff that I bring with me for a weekend motorcycle camping trip. So I'm going to go over all of it. Some of the stuff is new I'd never used before. Some of it's old faithfuls you've seen before. So uh, first we're going to start with the bags that I brought. This is the 511 Rush 72. Uh, this is the first time I've used this bag. I used another one similar to it. I think it was made by Condor back in the day, kind of a knockoff of this bag. But uh, this bag is awesome. First time using it. I've used many 511 bags before. I've done reviews on them. You can check them out back in the you know history of the channel or whatever. But uh, this pack held up wonderful, it's extremely comfortable, and it carried everything I needed except for a few items which ended up going in this set of saddlebags right here. These are just canvas saddlebags made by Stansport. Now I normally don't buy anything from Stansport, they're not known for very you know, high quality camping gear, and I didn't even know they had saddlebags. But I needed some that wouldn't require any saddlebag brackets, because I don't have those on my bike and I don't want to install them. I just want something I can throw over the seat. It's not going to interfere with the wheels or anything, and then I can just pull off when I get to where I'm going, throw them over my shoulder, and hike them into wherever I'm going. These things are awesome, and I think I only paid like 22 bucks or something for that. So, uh, all right, without further ado, let's get into the gear. I'm going to start with my hammock quilt. This is the Snug Pack hammock quilt, top quilt. Love this thing. It's very lightweight. Uh, this was strapped. You know, I had this strapped to the sissy bar sitting on the seat, and then I had this behind it, or I don't remember exactly how I had it set up because... I brought a tin out there too and I didn't use it. I ended up letting Scotty borrow it and he took it all. But I had all this stuff strapped to the bike differently. Uh, but on the way home, I had this strapped to the back there. Then I brought one of those little backpacking chairs, you know, the folding legs and the little, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You've seen it before. This one's made by iClimb. I talked about it a little bit in the video. Really nice seat with a nice cool feature a lot of them don't have. So check them out if you want to. Now, uh, let's go to the saddlebags first. We'll get that out of the way. Oh, also, this is the bracket that I wore on the way out there. It's a little deal that mounts right here, so you can have a GoPro right there. That's how I got all the video. All right, the saddlebags. Pick a side. My food bag. <laughs> this is the same amount of food I brought out there, minus like a couple things. Inside here, I have two MREs, actual MREs this time, because I wanted to try them out. I brought the beef goulash and the Asian beef strips, I believe. Uh, I only ended up eating like some peanut butter out of there and then I went out and bought gummy. I actually brought back more food than I took out there. <laughs> we ended up going out to eat and such. So uh, food bag, coffee and all that. I've got my Nemo Tensor. I don't know if I like this thing or not. I like it when it stays inflated, but it's not staying inflated. About, I don't know, four or five hours into the night, this thing just starts to go down and you got to get up and, you know, inflate it again. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So as of right now, I'm going to say I do not like this and I do not recommend it but I'm gonna give it a couple more trips before I actually do a review on it. If I even do a review, because you know I don't like doing those that much anymore. Uh, this is a Condor H2O pouch. It's an empty one because my water bottle is probably in here. I brought this because it was very hot out. No, oh, that's not the water bottle. Water bottle's on the other side. But we'll just show you this. This is the whiskey bottle, same size as the water bottle. But you know, I just slipped this in here full of ice water and it keeps my ice water icy cold for a lot longer than if I just leave the stainless steel sit out in the sun. So, got that, whiskey bottle. All right, that's it on this side of the saddlebag. These aren't very big, they don't carry a lot. Over on this side, I've got, it did rain on the trip uh, quite a bit. These are not waterproof, so I've got my GoPro kit right here. Uh, so I wrap that in a, or put that inside of a Ziploc bag so it would not get wet. GoPro stuff. Then I've got my cook kit. You've seen my cook kit before. It's the Tokes Titanium. I don't remember the size of the pouches or anything like that. Then in here, I just got a whole bunch of cord that was wet. I just, when we were taking the tarp down, tarp, say tarp, we're taking the tarp down, this was all wet, so I just shoved it in here because I knew it was going to need to dry. Then I've got some bungee cords for strapping all this stuff to the bike that I uh, ended up not needing on the way back. So got those and just some loose carabiners. I didn't feel like strapping in there. So that's it for the saddlebags. You can see nice. I mean, for Stansport, this is pretty good quality. I'll give them that. Normally can't say too many good things about them. So 
Now let's get over to the main pack. Of course, got the IZN patch on the front. I've got my, this is normally in my cook kit, but I was drinking coffee up until the last second of the trip. So I just attached it using this carabiner on here. Right there so it could dry. This carabiner, by the way, I should mention this thing. This thing's pretty cool. I don't know if it says the name on there. Hero Clip. This is a Hero Clip. It's a small one. What's really cool about this thing, yes, it's a normal carabiner, but you can also take this part right here. You see this swings out, and then you have like a hook. I don't know how well you can see up here, but you have a hook so you can hang something from a branch or whatever. I could use it around here, hang this off of a branch to a tree. It's a really cool little uh, carabiner. Tarp. This thing has been a lifesaver for countless trips. This old camo tarp, I can't remember the size, I think it's 10 by 13 or 13 by 15, something like that, has been our cover for so many rain, snow, ice, freezing fog, everything else. This tarp has been around for, I don't know, about maybe eight years or so I've been using that tarp. Yeah, not gonna have much space to put all this stuff. All right, moving on, don't fall. Uh, in here, I've got in this section between this pouch and the main pouch, which just opens up like this. You can see this expands out like that. I've got an old wet uh, bandana that I was using, and then I've got a few large trash bags and some leaves. This is what I was gonna use. Luckily, we didn't have to ride in the rain. I mean, I had gear for it, kind of. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But uh, this pack is not waterproof, so I was just going to take the trash bags, take two of them, wrap them over the pack on the right out there to keep everything inside dry. So, a bunch of trash bags. I'm just gonna leave those in there, actually. All right, let's go with the pouch in the front here. Connect these back up real quick, go with that pouch, and then we'll go into the main pouch. All right, so pouch in the front, just undone. I brought along a bag full of tent stakes. See, a whole bunch of tent stakes in there. I only end up using two, but if I ever one bends or I need to bar or someone needs to borrow one or something, I've got some extras. Got my fire kit. Right there. Lucy light. This is a generation one. My other one snapped, the little strap snapped on it. So Lucy light. Love having those things when I'm camping. Nothing else in there. In here. Nothing in here. In here. Uh, some cables for my battery banks, which actually those, that's something I already took out of here. I brought, I brought four battery banks cause I didn't know how much I was going to have to charge that, those GoPro, GoPro batteries. So I only ended up using about two thirds of one of the battery banks. So that was a bunch of unnecessary weight I didn't need to carry, but those battery banks, all four of them are in the house already. I already took those out cause my kids needed to use them and such. So in the front compartment, that is it up here. I've got my tripod, little gorilla style tripod. You know, you gotta bend it and attach it to trees or whatever you want. Got the lid to my cup, there. Headlamp, Fox Ellie headlamp. I'm still using this Fox Ellie headlamp. I don't know, six, seven years later. And then a little piece of paracord, paracord with a carabiner that I use to hold this to uh, up against a tree. All right, in here, got some patches and stickers just in case you, know, you meet someone on the road or whatever at a camp and you want to give them an IZN patch or whatever. And then I got me a little a little poop kit, spelled differently, but I'm not going to say that on camera. Poop kit right in there. Get all this stuff out. Actually, I should be taking all this out because I'm going to be putting it away soon. All right. Now for the main compartment. For this, I'm going to lay this down. Open it up and fold it open just like that. All right, we'll start with this section here. You can kind of see, I'm gonna to try to bend this a little bit. I like this type of a pack because I can just clamshell it open like this, lay it flat and take everything out like a suitcase. So, top little zipper here, I've got the WorkSharp guided field sharpener. I have a little hygiene kit in here. I've got some anti-monkey butt toothbrush, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, uh, chapstick, so on and so forth. Right there. And then this is a little kit where I keep my e-juice and coils for my vaporizer. Down in here, 
This was supposed to go in the food bag. I don't know why I shoved it in there, but this is my little accessory packet, my own accessory packet with hot sauce. They don't put those in MREs anymore, unfortunately. Hot sauce, and I've got some different jelly and salt and pepper and different variety of things in there. Pair of extra socks I ended up not using. Wore the same pair the whole time I was out there. It's what I normally do. Extra pair of underwear. You know, you never know when you're going to shart, and then it's over, man. You got, you got to have an extra pair of underwear. <laughs> All right. So clothing and, of course, extra bandanas just wadded up. I'm actually going to put the clothes back in there just to save some space. All right, now, over on this side, main compartment. First thing up top I keep so I can get to it very easily, first aid kit. I've gone over this first aid kit with you guys before. You have seen it in other videos. Cordage bag. I bring a lot of cordage, and there have been many trips where I've used every single piece of cordage I have. Inside of here are more carabiners, those ones I showed you earlier. Uh, night eyes, what are these, those nine beaners? Oh, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Uh, but mainly cordage, that's my cordage bag. All right, SE6. That's what we use to process firewood. That's the OD green with the micarta. Contoured micarta handle scales, I love this knife. One of my favorite knives of all time. There's a review on the channel, kind of funny one that I did, if you want to check that out. Then, the largest thing that I didn't even use, this right here, these are a pair of Carhartt waterproof overalls, bibs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I use these when I'm riding in the rain because they, the zipper on the leg goes all the way up to your hip, down to the boot. So it's very easy when you're wearing boots, jeans, and everything else to get these on and off. So this is my favorite pair of waterproof rain gear or pants or whatever you want to say, uh, for riding in the rain. I love these things. Very, very nice. Where am I going to put this? Uh, let's just go right here for now. All right, uh, then I've got the hammock, Dream Hammock Darien. And unfortunately, I said in the video, newly repaired zipper. Well, I didn't repair it right because one of the zipper sliders popped off. And I don't want to screw this hammock up, so I have a message out to uh, Randy Papa Smurf over at Dream Hammock to see if I can send this in for repairs. God, I love that hammock. <laughs> very comfortable. Uh, and then the hammock tarp, UGQ Winter Dream. Always bring that with me. Get this over here. This is my Tokes Titanium. I think it's 1100 milliliter pot. And then inside here, I have a fuel canister for my stove. The stove I brought was the uh, Pocket Rocket 2. That's right. All right. Up here next to the first aid kit, I've got this little tool bag or miscellaneous kit, admin pouch with a whole bunch of different, you know, Lighter, extra cables, uh, backup flashlights, some Gorilla Tape, uh, what's back here, some moist wipes, a ruler, I don't know why I would need that, a water key, but you know, a whole bunch of stuff. I usually keep this in my EDC bag and I just switch it out when I'm going camping. Then, almost done guys, uh, let's see, nothing in there, nothing in there. Book I brought with me this time was First Blood by Dave Morell. Love this book, love the movie, the book is even better. I actually listen to this as an audio book and then I'm like well I want to read it too actually read it read it so I brought that along and final item no not well almost final over I told you already water bottle right here so I got some water in there the reason I put the tape like this and make it look different is so that when I am uh, having copious amounts of whiskey at night I don't accidentally when I'm wanting to take a drink of water start slamming more whiskey I don't want to get that messed up trust me <laughs> I've been there uh, water bottle and last thing sun jack light stick I think I did a review on I did do a review on this a long time ago it's a really nice light stick flashes SOS red also can charge your phone with it so it's like another battery bank so I guess I actually brought five battery banks <laughs> all right so that's it guys there's all my goods that's everything that I brought along on my last motorcycle camping trip I tend to overpack all, all the time. Every trip I go on, it's that prepper mentality. I'm like, well, if I don't bring it, then I'm gonna need it. But I bring it, then I don't need it, so I'll leave it at home, and then the next time I'll need it, so. That's it, guys. If you got any questions, let me know. Comment down below, is there anything I was missing? Uh, actually, there was one more thing. It's in the little swing arm bag that I use as a saddlebag that's regular on the bike. I have a little tool pouch in there with different tools that work for my bike, even though I don't know how to use most of them. I bring them anyway, because maybe if I break down the side of the road, some actual motorcycle mechanic might pull over and want to help me, and then I'd have some tools that he could use to help my uh, non-mechanical self get back on the road. So, 
that's it today guys like share subscribe comment down below if you got anything you want to say any questions about my gear like i said some of it if you just google i or go on uh, youtube and search bar type in iris zombie nation first aid kit that's gonna pop up the, the last video i did go google iris zombie nation dream hammock iris zombie nation book review iris zombie nation se6 do anything like that and you'll get reviews on any of these items if you're interested so that's it today guys thanks for joining me and until next time See you around the fire.